I'll show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 or S7 Plus onto your Chromebook and it's going to be saved to your Chromebook's hard drive. It's different than transferring files if you have a Windows computer or if you have a MacBook. Okay, Again, this is a Chromebook right here. And I'm not talking about uploading your photos to the uh, Google Drive. I'm talking about actually downloading, downloading it onto the hard drive of this Chromebook. So first thing is first, go ahead and grab your charging cable. So you have USB-A to a USB Type-C. Plug the USB-A into a port on your Chromebook here. So let's pop that into here. And then the other side, we want to go ahead and plug it directly into your tablet here. Pop that in here. I get a message here. It says slow charging, no problem. I just click on OK. And now I need to sign in, okay? So let me go ahead and use my fingerprint here. Let me go ahead and, oops, let me just go ahead. Okay, there we go. So this message here pops up since I signed in because I'm already connected. It says, allow access to tablet data. You want to go ahead and click on allow, okay? And now this window here is going to pop up and I'll leave my tab connected. So now with this window open, I want you to look very carefully. Now, if you look down here, I see a uh, Galaxy Model MTP and Galaxy Models MTP2, all right? Uh, the first MTP here is my internal memory on my tab. The second, number two, is my SD card that I have in my, um, in my tab, okay? So let's just go with the internal memory here. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And now you can see all these folders here. So we want photos and videos. So you always go to the DCIM folder, which is right here, DCIM. Let's double tap on that. And then from here, I have some other folders. I have my camera uh, folder, which is my photos and videos, and I have my screenshots folder, and I have my screen recording uh, folder here. So let's double tap on a camera here. Now, these are all my photos and my videos here, okay? And you can see, you know, JPEG for photo and MP4 for video. You can see it's still populating. Now, if you were on a Windows computer, I mean, you would be able to drag, like, one of these files drag it and drop it right onto the desktop but you get that little uh, that little red thing showing you that you can't do it and it's just going to go ahead and whip back okay so what you need to do is this now if you look over here on the left pane here now we see like my files now in my files this folder here is the actual hard drive of your chromebook okay and also this folder here downloads so what you can technically do is this let's just say you know i have this jpeg photo here and i want to put it onto my uh, chromebook the actual uh, hard drive, I can drag and I can drop this into downloads right here. So I just dropped it into downloads. Now if I tap on downloads, now that JPEG is right here. Now what I typically do is I just go to my files here and then I go ahead and just make a new folder and I just name a new folder, whatever. And you can see that this new folder is under my files, my hard drive, okay? And I called it Yo-Yo. So also from here, now if I go back to my DCIM, I go to my camera, and now all my photos and videos here again, I can go ahead and drag and drop these like individually into my new folder, or I can simply just go ahead and just highlight all of them, and then I can drag and drop that directly into that new folder, and then give it a second, and then let me double click on this new folder, and then uh, it should be populating still. It's still transferring, you can see. So now, even if I go ahead and disconnect my tab, now I still have these on my actual hard drive of my Chromebook. So I hope I make sense here. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right, good luck.